In today's video, we look at the 10 best documentaries of the 1980s. Documentaries provide a unique lens into our society, taking us beyond the realm of entertainment to the realities of the world. The 1980s saw many culturally influential events and movements that gave rise to some of the best documentaries of that period. These films provide profound insights into the world of the past and a historical perspective of how we evolved to where we are today. In this video, we'll look at some of the best documentaries from the 1980s. If you like our videos, support us with a thumbs up, subscribe to Factual America, activate the little bell, and look forward to the videos we upload for you every week. First up is Cosmos 1980. Carl Sagan's documentary miniseries, Cosmos, is undoubtedly one of the most enlightening and iconic documentaries of the 1980s. This series captivated audiences worldwide, delving into the science behind the cosmos, the origin of life, and the possibilities of the future. Sagan's passion for science is evident throughout the series as he blends scientific facts with an engaging and heartfelt narrative that aimed to bridge the gap between scientists and the general public. Next up, we have Streetwise, 1984. Martin Bell's Streetwise was a moving film that followed the lives of young homeless teens on the streets of Seattle. Heart-wrenching and incisive, the film offered a glimpse into the harsh realities of life and the struggles and pain that come with homelessness. Bell's film was praised for its compassionate and empathetic approach to the subject matter. Our number three is Monty Python Live at the Hollywood Bowl, 1982. Monty Python's reunion show Live at the Hollywood Bowl offered audiences a chance for a night of laughter and entertainment. Known for their unique humor and satire, Monty Python movies do an excellent job providing a unique glimpse into the world of comedy. The group utilized the Grand Hollywood Bowl stage to showcase their talent, providing commentary on society through their uniquely twisted lens. Leonard Schrader's documentary, The Killing of America, 1981, investigated the dark side of America, delving into the rise of violence, crime, and murder. While the subject matter of the film is bleak, the killing of America provides an insightful and enlightening look into the societal issues that plagued America during this era. The documentary offered a brutal reminder of the power of the media in shaping our perceptions of the world. At number five, we have Imagine, John Lennon, 1988. John Lennon's music was instrumental in shaping a generation and changing the landscape of pop culture. Andrew Soltz's documentary, Imagine, John Lennon, tells the story of the former Beatles star's life, from his formative years to his tragic death. The film provided fans with an intimate look into the private life of the music legend, offering an in-depth look at his creative genius and influence. Here we have Room 666, 1982. Directed by legendary French filmmaker Wim Wenders, Room 666 is an experimental and introspective documentary that features a series of interviews with the most influential filmmakers of the time, all convened in one hotel room at the Cannes Film Festival. With its candid and revelatory discussions about the state of cinema, the role of the filmmaker, and the impact of technology on storytelling, Room 666 is a must-watch for anyone interested in cinema and culture. Directed by Jonathan Demme, Stop Making Sense, 1984, is widely regarded as one of the best concert documentaries of all time. Filmed during three nights of performances by the Talking Heads, the film captures the band at the height of their powers, performing classic songs like Once in a Lifetime and Burning Down the House in a visually stunning and immersive way. Demi's innovative use of close-ups, long takes, and dynamic editing makes Stop Making Sense a thrilling and captivating watch that transcends the genre. Directed by Errol Morris, The Thin Blue Line, 1988, 
is a groundbreaking documentary that combines true crime, investigative journalism, and artistic filmmaking into a powerful and suspenseful narrative. The film examines the case of Randall Dale Adams, a man who was wrongfully convicted of murder in Texas and sentenced to death. Morris uses interviews, reenactments, and dramatic reconstructions to build a compelling case for Adams' innocence, and in doing so, exposes the flaws and biases of the justice system. At number 9, we have Roger and Me, 1989. Directed by Michael Moore, Roger and Me is a landmark movie documentary that launched Moore's career as a political filmmaker and activist. The film documents Moore's quest to interview Roger Smith, the CEO of General Motors, during a time when the company was laying off thousands of workers in Moore's hometown of Flint, Michigan. Through interviews, archival footage, and dark humor, Moore exposes the devastating economic and social impact of corporate greed and government inaction on ordinary people. Lastly, we have For All Mankind, 1989. Directed by Al Reinert, For All Mankind is a mesmerizing and poetic documentary that tells the story of the Apollo missions to the moon using only original footage and audio recordings from the NASA archives. The film captures the beauty, majesty, and awe-inspiring wonder of space travel, as well as the courage, dedication, and humanity of the astronauts who risked their lives to reach the moon. For All Mankind is a celebration of human achievement and a reminder of what we can accomplish when we work together for a common goal. Documentaries are an indispensable part of our cultural history, providing a unique reflection of the times they were created in. The documentaries of the 1980s offer a mirror to that period, providing invaluable insights into the world of that era. From the science of the cosmos to the harsh realities of life on the street and the impact of pop culture icons and music videos, each of these films offers a unique perspective on the world and humanity.